Hey, Trekker Todd here, and time for another video. The rumors of the death of my employment are greatly exaggerated. Stay tuned, I'll tell you what's been going on and what I'm up to now. Okay, before we jump into today's video, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Look below, you can apply for employment with Roadrunner Freight. You can leave me a comment, you can leave me an email, and share this video on your social media platforms. Um, it helps get the channel out there, makes more people aware of what we're doing, and I really appreciate it. As you can see, my hair is a mess, I'm a little sweaty, I've been working hard. What have I been doing this week? You know, there's a, a lot of, you know, me and Roadrunner had kind of a public disagreement. In one of my videos, I suggested that um, I might be moving on to greener pastures. And uh, I suggested that I was taking a week off and coming to pick up an RV. And uh, that I was going to my grandson's birthday, which is tomorrow, by the way. <laughs> and a lot of people took that to mean I was quitting Roadrunner, that uh, I had left the company. That is not true. As of today, I'm still currently employed by Roadrunner. I have not made one decision either way about if I'm staying or going, um, but they called me. They apologized. We had a real nice talk, and I got to tell you, between you and me, I'm leaning towards staying, but uh I'll make a final decision uh, probably tomorrow sometime. There probably will not be a video until Monday, um, just because I'm going to be busy with my son's grand, or with my grandson's birthday, and uh, then I don't like to release videos on the weekend because people are at home and with families, and a lot of times they don't see it, and then next week they're asking me the same questions that were covered in the videos. So. Here is the RV that I bought, and like I said, I have not made any decisions on Roadrunner at this point, but I am leaning towards staying at this point. All right, let's take a look. Okay, I'm trying to get it all in the shot there where you can see this is the same F-150 I've had the whole time, EcoBoost four-wheel drive, and here's the trailer that everybody's been asking about supposed to pick it up at the end of August but because of my breakdown uh, we had to delay it till this month went and picked it up yesterday and I was trying to find a good wide open space where I could film it for you guys um, I'll also show you with the slides out and the inside here in just a little bit I'm trying to get some stuff set up this morning and then I don't know if I'm gonna put it in a park yet or if I'm gonna put it in storage until I come back to town. With the hitch and all, it's about 33, 34 foot. The actual trailer space itself is 29.1 feet. And uh, the gross weight on it, if it's fully loaded, is about 8,600. My trucks waited for 9,500, so it was an easy pull yesterday, doing between 70 and 75 the whole way. Uh, according to my gauges, it was about 330 miles altogether. All right, let's go look at the rest of it. So since I've already shown you the outside once, I'm just going to do a quick walk around without the slides, or I mean with the slides out. Then we'll go ahead and take a look at the inside. I uh, turned the air conditioner on so you may hear that running in the background um, and so it'll be more comfortable when I go inside and you won't see me pouring sweat while I'm doing a video I'm at my storage place and they have a staging area for RVs so I've just got it set up here so I could give you a quick demonstration and then uh, I'll put it in the park later maybe today or tomorrow or next time I come to town some of that's still up in there but uh 
there you go that's what the slides and everything I hadn't put any of my personal stuff inside of it yet so it's gonna look kind of bare when we go inside I hope I've got all the lights on where you can see all right so let's go inside and take a look it does have the thermal package uh, which is supposed to be better insulation uh, the door here you can undo that and you can have a screen door you can uh, shut that to keep bugs out all right let's go inside that door right there's the bathroom we'll go to it in a minute it's a queen size bed got storage on both sides that little deal right there is a laundry chute that goes underneath oh, I didn't notice that hole there before but uh, the windows are emergency exit if you needed to get out quickly for a fire or something and then there's that side it's got cabinets overhead uh, it's got ducted air conditioning and then there is a vent back here also which I think it is that was open I just closed it uh, you can mount a TV in here and there's the stuff to do that up there bathroom has the same kind of fan there's the foot flush toilet and the little sink it is a little sink it does have a medicine cabinet up here uh, and then this is the shower. There, and it's got sunroof over there. So you get some natural light while you're taking a shower. I've got these closed so that it doesn't bounce around. Quite a bit of cabinet space in the bathroom for towels and stuff. I've got toilet paper but I hadn't even put that in here yet and then there's the cabinets down there and then here's that door we just saw that uh, went out by the front door I'm gonna close the doors this is the area of the house where me and my wife spend most of the time and I'm gonna shut the door keep it cool in here as you can see uh, with the opposing slides there's one there and one there it makes it feel bigger in here uh, there's the control panel tons of cabinets up there down there center deal uh, these come out for those that don't know and make uh, you can use those as a cutting board and then your sinks down there it is a double sink metal sink a lot of the cheaper ones use a plastic sink uh, more cabinets down there. That's one thing my wife really wanted. Um, there's the microwave. There's the stove and oven. That has some more storage up here. This is a pantry right here. And the oven, I'll admit, it's pretty small. I don't know what you what you could or would bake in there, but it does have an oven. Refrigerator runs off of uh, gas or electric so that it can run while you're going down the road. There's the freezer and refrigerator. I know some of you are thinking, man, that's really small, but it's only two of us and we're only here part time. Most of the time we're going down the road. Um, right here's the electric fireplace. Uh, it does play DVDs and uh, CDs and things like that. I have not put the TV in here. Uh, the previous owner had direct TV and the receivers up there if we, uh, if we decide to get direct TV. We stream mostly on our phones, so I doubt we'll use that. Uh, there's some more overhead cabinets. 
got two air conditioners and these ducted vents up here blow pretty hard. It gets cold in here. It feels like you're walking in a walk-in cooler. Here's the entertainment, or I would call them theater seats. They got cup holders and stuff. We're talking about inverting that one with that one because that one sits directly across from the TV and that way we got cup holders and, and stuff while we're over there. Uh, both sides have electrical outlets. I guess you can see those. So you can plug cell phones and tablets in. Uh, here's the other one over here and then they both have a small storage underneath. And here's that other little, what you and I would call a love seat. Uh, over here is the dinette. And then up here is another little light. So, uh, yeah, that's what we, we got. The plan is to uh, stay here for a couple of years and then probably buy a house or something. But uh, we're pretty happy with it so far. We've had a few issues with, uh, like, the battery being dead, I guess, from sitting for a while. And from... Uh, what else did we have issue with? Uh, some of my keys aren't working, so they're paying for a locksmith to make me some more keys. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up now. I thank y'all for all the questions and concern, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.